What's up everybody, Drumming Gaming here. So I wanted to talk a bit about the hashtag better PSN movement that has been going on for the past. Uh, actually, I think it originally started already two weeks ago, but it seems like the past couple of days it has really started to become a thing and I'm seeing more and more people go to Twitter, for example, use that hashtag to talk about their complaints about PSN. Basically what it is just about is that users find the PlayStation Network, um, you know, simply not good enough for the position that Sony is in right now. You know, with the PS4 being the best selling console at the moment, uh, with them making money on everybody paying $50 a year for PlayStation Plus and that kind of stuff, people simply want the servers to be better, people want Sony to uh, start making more or, or pretty much you know, implementing more patches for the PS4 with new features because there are some things that they find unacceptable um, that still aren't on the PS4 basically and that's what I wanted to talk about because for me, you know, I, I kind of get it and look, it's always this, this entire past generation pretty much has been uh, the generation of being able to complain on social media and companies actually being fright frightened about that uh, and therefore trying to fix it as soon as possible and that's great because you know in the past companies didn't necessarily have to listen because it wasn't really that people weren't that vocal these days you know you see that when Assassin's Creed Unity is broken people come to Twitter talk about it burn the entire game down and nobody is buying it anymore because of that you know a quick screenshot of a game game-breaking bug or glitch immediately gets shared and everybody knows about it uh, and therefore isn't promoting the game anymore or isn't willing to buy it. And to me that is, that is great because it means companies, you know, simply have to make sure that these sort of bugs, these glitches or simply, you know, their servers or whatever not being up to par anymore, uh, they have to try and prevent that from happening, which is great, once again. I also think, you know, it's, it's good that there's competition. With the PS4 really being the leading platform out there right now, I personally myself also feel that the exclusives, for example, have been kind of lacking right now. Uh, some patches that we simply haven't gotten yet with, with certain features that I think uh, you know are very necessary whereas you look at the Xbox one and it seems to be getting patches every couple of months and of course the exclusive lineup for this year is great on the Xbox one so you know in that way I want Microsoft to do better because it will mean that Sony will have to step that game up once again um, so in that way you know I'm kind of standing behind the movement in itself I think it's a good thing that this is happening I definitely think you should all be tweeting with your hashtag uh, on Twitter hashtag better PSN about what you think should be changed in itself though I do have to say I think Sony has done a pretty good job at the servers in itself because I remember it was very very frequent that these servers would go down on the PlayStation Network in the PlayStation 3 days uh, for me personally now on the PS4 I don't really experience it that much anymore but for me it is really those features and the patches because I think you know the last time the PS4 got an actual actual like major new patch was I think 2.0 in uh, in you know November or December of last year whenever it was and since then we only have gotten some stability updates which don't do it for me and when I look at you know uh, how the PS4 was at launch the friends list was completely broken and it, it was simply like impossible for me to scroll through my friends without you know the actual system completely breaking down my PS4 either just uh, uh, you know completely crashing or something like that nowadays they fortunately have fixed that so that's a good thing but uh, at the same time there's stuff like, you know, a quick online friends notification, for example, when when some, you know, when a certain friend comes online that you, uh, you just want to know about so you can play with that certain person, right? It seems such an obvious thing to do that the PlayStation 3 had for a long time and the PS4 simply doesn't. So, you know, those kinds of things, yeah, Sony needs to start adding them. Uh, the site itself mentions things like online slash offline, uh, in parentheses, invisibility status change, enhanced user profile page showing favorite games, screenshots slash recordings, game wishlist, deeper activity session and uh, you know game statistics that kind of stuff continuous trophy syncing uh, and also significantly increased size of cloud storage for save files as well as family account feature set for saves uh, no need for sub accounts that kind of stuff auto sync save files as they are modified I think there's also you know stuff like you still can change your PlayStation Network username it is these things that wouldn't seem too hard to implement uh, especially something like the notification for going online so I don't know why Sony is simply not doing it they are in the position right now where they are leading and it's not going to take them too much time to implement these things and it's really going to help people out you know a lot for those who simply want that to be necessary but you know with that being said yeah I do want to say that I personally find PlayStation Network to be way better than it used to be at least in the past 
Um, but there's still definitely some things that Sony could do about this. So yeah, I would just uh, like to tell you all, you know, let me know in the comments what you think should be changed on PSN. And of course, bring those complaints to Twitter, talk to the you know guys from PlayStation about it, and uh, maybe tag me in the tweet as well if you want to. But yeah, in itself, you know, let me know what you think about these kinds of movements, what you think about the whole current trend of uh, bringing your complaints to social media and uh, and if companies should really take note of that kind of stuff so with that being said thanks a lot for watching everyone hope you enjoyed the video of course leave a quick like if you can because it really helps out my channel and then let me know that stuff in the comments and then for now i hope to see you again next time Friendly.